five, five, three. Looks like he's going to jump if he handles the distance and he's not overwhelmed by the lack of seasoning. Five, five, three. I could see a two. I could see a one. I can even see a zero if he's a really good horse. If he goes forward, puts him, gets the distance, puts him square in the race. I don't care if he ran it through, one, or whatever. Doesn't make no difference to me. Uh, if we're talking strictly on the thoroughbreds, this horse fits as a forward moving pattern and looks dangerous based on that. So that's me. Thank you for visiting Pass the Wire TV, the YouTube channel of PassTheWire.com. I love how Gustavo Delgado is right there with him, watching every move that he makes. And Maid, he looks like he don't have a care in the world. And I don't know, maybe he don't. If I was him, I wouldn't be afraid of anybody either. Cañonero Segundo, Cañonai Segundo, my inspiration. Do you remember this, this, this interview for you? Mm -hmm. yes, Cañonero you know. Segundo, the main in uh, 1971. Okay. 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 I talked with, with Gustavo Avila yesterday tonight. You want the A next all there, yeah? Okay.
Ciao, everybody, and welcome to the Preakness Horses by the Thoroughgraph Patterns and Numbers. We had so much fun with the Kentucky Derby and Mage that you asked, we answered, we're going to do it again. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Mage, all the connections, uh, Double R, same initials as a Rolls Royce, Ramiro Restrepo, uh, pulled it off, won the Derby, uh, and, and you, you know, all the messages that I got from people that watched the show wanted us to do the Preakness, but, but more important, how many people won uh, on Mage because of the show, and how many people said, you know, they boxed three horses or used th three horses in, in, in the triple that we talked about, forward moving, moving patterns, um, inundated with messages and thank yous and no need to thank me. It's a pleasure to do. It was a lot of fun in the Derby. We're going to have just as much fun in the Preakness. Uh, and we're going to do it again for the Belmont Stakes. And the Belmont is, to me, the test of champions. I'm a New York guy, but always a little bit more exciting and a little bit more electric when we got a horse going for the Triple Crown. We don't know if we're going to have that yet, but you never know. Um, Mage has gotten off the van in Baltimore looking good. Let's hear quickly from Ramiro, the man himself. Uh, super, super, super kind uh, video he sent um, to all of us here at Pass the Wire, and that means all of you who watch our show. So we'll, we'll check in with that, and then we will get right to the Preakness Horses by the Thoroughgraph Numbers and Pattern. Hey, Big John, uh, just want to reach out to you and everyone over at Pass the Wire. Uh, what an amazing uh, win this was. What an incredible experience it was for myself and obviously for my family. Uh, thank you for all the coverage and all your insight uh, that you gave us in the week leading up to the race. Uh, your, your review, especially about the figs on the horse, uh, kind of uh, really put a little bit of comfort and a little, you know, set us, set us a little bit at ease, uh, knowing that, uh, you felt so strongly about the horse. We actually chatted a little bit about how, um, the way you broke down the race and calling us a dangerous horse. Um, it sounded like a little bit of an episode from Goodfellas. Uh, we all got a real big kick out of your video and, and it was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, a lot's been talked about my mother's side of the family and, how content they were uh, with dreams fulfilled, but also uh, my father, who uh, you know from the racetrack uh, days up in New York in the 80s, it's pretty cool how uh, full circle, you knew my dad back then, and now, you know, here we are, you know, gosh, seems like 40 years later, and, uh, you know, we know each other, and uh, we were able to pull off this win. Something pretty special. Um, value your friendship so much i know we've been chatting through dm and in, and in person at the, at the track um all this time so thank you for everything uh your coverage is fantastic and uh just a big hello to everyone over at past the wire dot com great platform and um hope to see you soon brother trips okay. with pick six king john Stetton. it's one of the best tools in horse racing for any level of player <laughs> It's your second set of eyes, spotting troubled trips, betting angles, track trends, horses to watch and favorites to fade, 10 figs, ticket structure, and more. At Tracking Trips, you're a friend with benefits. Not a member? You must hate winning money. Join Tracking Trips now. Visit pastthewire.com and we'll see you in the winner circle. Remember, nobody does it better. Well, Class, class always shows, not just with horses, uh, with people too. Um, 
as does lack thereof, but that's not the case here. Uh, moving on, let me just say this before we get into the horses. Preakness is a different race than the Derby. Different kinds of betting strategies apply. It's just, uh, you, you know, a whole different animal. Uh, you know, keep that in mind. But we'll run down these horses. We'll see what we get. See, uh, see if we can identify who's moving forward, who's not, who's fastest, who's slow, and uh, see how it shakes out. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm in the order that Thoroughgraph has the contenders. I think it's alphabetical for now. Doesn't make a difference. We're doing this early. Uh, the numbers aren't going to change. The post positions will when they draw, but this is the weakness uh, by the thoroughgraph numbers and patterns. So we're not looking at that right now. We're going to start with Blazing Sevens, Chad Brown's horse. Uh, he's, he's going to get attention because he's Chad's horse. We know that, but let's look at his pattern and see what it tells us. As a two year old, uh, he starts out at Saratoga. He runs a 13 2, 11 1, uh, runs a three at Aqueduct. I think that's the day one to Champagne. Um, then he comes back to Keeneland, runs a 5.1. Uh, did not go forward in his first start as a three year old in Florida at all. Uh, that was the race. He really didn't run a step. Uh, he runs a 15 2. You know, Chad Brown said he really didn't get anything out of the race. He comes back off of that race uh, and runs an, an even to three at the, in, in Keeneland. Went forward a lot. Now, the first thing that jumps out to me is as a two-year-old, he went 13-2, 11-1, jumped forward to a three, regressed to a five off the forward move. Now he runs that 15-2, uh, jumps forward, way forward to a three, uh, comes back in the Preakness, skips the Derby, comes back in the Preakness. Does he regress again off that forward, uh, you know, big forward leap? He did as a two-year-old. Now he's three, he's stronger, he needed that first race. So maybe there were some arguments that he won't, but he has a pattern that to me suggests he might regress uh, a little bit, and he can't regress off the three and win this race. So uh, he doesn't have the kind of pattern I'm looking for as much as I respect Chad, and he doesn't run his horses where they don't belong. Um, love Chad, uh, but I just, you know, the pattern is what it is. We're not, we're not, we, we can't get around that. Um, Chase to Chaos, in my opinion, is just flat out too slow. Uh, he, he ran at Canterbury last year. 22 in the mud, it's 16, 2, 14, 1, 13, 2, comes back as a three-year-old, Golden Gate, 12.1, 14, 16, 1 at Golden Gate, um, you, you know, dirt, synthetic, whatever, he just, you know, he would have to make a monumental leap forward um, in order to contend here. I don't see it. Uh, if you do, you'll get paid. Uh, if he can pull it off. But uh, moving right along, Coffee with Chris. Um, uh, let's start with his two-year-old races. 27-3, uh, slow, 17, 14, 3, 15, 2, 14, 3, 12, 9, 3. Uh, low. He started getting better late in the two-year-old year. No doubt about it. Kind of catches the eye. Comes back as a... Three-year-old uh, doesn't go past the number, but runs a 6-1, 5-2, 3-2. Uh, so kind of almost equals the best two-year-old race. Doesn't, doesn't, hasn't, hasn't passed it yet, uh, but then regresses off that to an 8-3. Uh, don't like the regression after the new top like that. Um, it was a steady, even progression. It wasn't a, a huge jump. So I'm not going to really call it a bounce. I'm going to call it more of a regression. Uh, what we saw with Blazing Sevens really, you know, was, was what I would call a, a, a bounce. Uh, Disarm, interesting horse. Uh, really, you know, had, had some trouble in the Derby, but did, 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 Get a nice set set up pace wise, but his 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 pattern starting to look a little better. 
15361 uh, as a two year old. Uh, comes back, runs that nine at Oakland Park, then pairs fives at the fairgrounds and at Keeneland. Uh, in the Derby, uh, I was a little concerned him coming back quick like that. Uh, but he gave a good account of himself. He really did. And he ran a 3.2 into a hot pace, uh, which kind of flattered him a little bit and might have helped him uh, finish and, and, and run that good number. It looks like he's got a good forward moving pattern. If he can handle the quick turnaround into the Derby and the quick turnaround into the Preakness, uh, he looks a little dangerous. Now, you know, those, those two quick races coming back like that, you, you know, the short, short trip into the Derby and then the short two week turnaround into the, into the Preakness, has me concerned that he could be set up for a regression. Uh, he's not going to probably get the same kind of setup and scenario that he did in the Preakness. So uh, he's got what I call a questionable, questionable pattern. Looks like it could go either way. I would tend to think um, if he handles the, the quick turnaround, he kind of repeats as opposed to going forward. Uh, run something very similar to the last race would be my best guess. Uh, first mission, uh, we got no starts at two. Uh, we got no run in the Derby. He's a new shooter, but he's flat out fast. He runs a 2.2 at the fairgrounds, then a four at the fairgrounds, and a 3.1 in the Lexington at Keeneland. Um, interestingly, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's lightly raced. I would much rather see steady numbers and progressing numbers than 2.24, 3.1. If he's developing any kind of pattern off that short races, I see a little bit of a Z there where 2.14, 3.1. Now, does he go back to a four, four and change? I don't, I don't know. Uh, does he go forward? I, I, he doesn't have a, a pattern that screams going to go forward. He's got more of that Z that goes back and forth. So if we're going to stick strictly to how I read the patterns, it's not what I like to see, uh, but he's flat out fast. Uh, you, you know, if he runs the back to the two, uh, he's a contender, but he ain't the winner. Uh, and he ain't the fastest horse in the race. Uh, Mage is the fastest horse in the race. Um, and if he repeats his derby number, which was a zero uh, into, we know, a hot pace, but uh, we said he had a great pattern and was the dangerous horse going into the derby. Uh, he handled everything. And so far, say what you will, but his connections have made every right move in every right call. There's no doubt about it. They've, they've done everything right. So if they're there, the horse is showing them the signs that he belongs there. Uh, let's go back. Five, five, three point two, zero in the Derby. Uh, you heard it at the beginning of the show. I said five, five, three point two, dangerous. I could see a two, a one. I could see a zero if he's a nice horse. He ran that zero and showed he's fast and he's good and he's classy. Uh, if he repeats that race, he's absolutely, now he's not the dangerous horse, he's a horse to be. You know, you know, he's the derby winner and he did it legitimately. So, uh, you know, he's in a position that none of the other horses are in. He repeats, he wins, and he can even regress a little bit. He can regress back to a one, uh, you, you know, and, and, and maybe win this race. So he's in, in, in a unique position, but his pattern still looks good because five, five, three point three zero looks like, you know, he could even go forward a little bit or pair up. Um, those zeros, and that makes him incredibly difficult difficult to get past. So Mage went from dangerous to legit, and he's got the bullseye on him if you want to win the race. Uh, National Treasure is probably the most intriguing horse to me of the patterns and the numbers on Thoroughgraph. Uh, 
two-year-old starting at Delmar, 6.1, 4.2, 2.3. So he showed it too, that he was fast, okay? Uh, comes back, uh, Santa Anita runs a four, even four, vet scratches, uh, comes back, runs a four again, uh, moves back into Bob Baffert's bond and, and, and Baffert ain't sending him there. Jimmy Bond's there, or if Bob's going himself, none of them are going for crab, crab, crab cakes. Uh, we know that. If they're going, they're going because they think they got a shot. This horse has a 2.3 as, as a two-year-old. I tend to think off the paired fours, uh, he's going to go forward. He's going to go past his best two-year-old number, which puts him faster than a 2.3, which puts him square in the mix. Now, getting away from the numbers for, for, for a bit, he has been a little bit of a disappointment. You, you know, he didn't go, we, we, we talked about on the original Derby show and, and again on the Oak show that we like two-year-olds that are good horses and nice horses of this caliber when they make their first start at three to go past their number. He didn't do that, but he, he's, he's got those two fours. He's got the vet scratch that shows. So maybe there was a little issue you know, if they're sending him to Baltimore for the Preakness, I'm sure that whatever issue there may have been is gone if there was one. So dangerous. Perform. Too slow, my book. 13-1, uh, 13-2, 13-1, 13-3 is a two-year-old. Comes back, goes past the number like we like to see, but only an 8.1, regresses to an 11-1, uh, then runs an 8-1 again. We see that Z pattern, you know, good race, bad race, fast race, slower race. Don't, don't want to see that going in. And if we do see that going in, we definitely want to see the race we're looking at as the forward moving race, not the back race. We got two Zs here, um, or Z patterns, as I, I like to call them, and both of them are going the wrong way for the Preakness. I don't like that. Uh, Red Route 1, last of the lot. Uh, 17-1, 13-1, 6-2, got a lot better. Off the 6-2, goes back to an 18, a 16-2. That's a bounce. 8-2 uh, off of that to close out his two-year-old campaign. Comes back, runs a 6-2. So he equals his best number as a two-year-old first start at three. Then he goes forward off of that, runs a 3-3, regresses off that, runs a 6, comes back, runs a 6.2. So he's coming off paired sixes. Probably going to go forward. Looks like he can go forward, but where is he going to go? I don't think he goes forward fast enough uh, or far enough to win here. You know, I could see a 3, you know, a 4, you know, 2 2 Two, two, two and change, maybe three points forward at best. So he's got a forward moving pattern, but not, not enough to, to, to get on my radar for, for, for the win. Uh, so there you have uh, my, my interpretation of the thoroughgraph numbers and, and, and patterns. Uh, Going to be an exciting previous, uh, you, you know, whenever the Derby winner runs back, it's an exciting race and it's, uh, you know, it's what we, 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 we all look forward to. So uh, all the best to everybody. We're going to do this again for the Belmont. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you're one of the people that won, uh, I got so many comments, hit the like button, subscribe, let us know, leave a comment, questions you could see on the Derby and the Oak shows. We got, I think we, we, we got back to every question that we got. We got a lot via email and message as well. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, I appreciate it. Everybody at Pass the Wire appreciates it. Uh, show my man Double Awesome love for that great video at the beginning. So you can leave a comment for him and, and, the, and the connection to Mage as well. Uh, Enjoy the Preakness. We got a lot of great stuff coming out on Pastor Wire TV. We got a lot of great stuff on PastorWire.com already and also coming out for the Preakness. Uh, we're not doing a seminar for the Preakness. We'll probably do a free one for the Belmont Stakes. Stay tuned on that. Um, not a thousand percent sure. We'll see what happens, uh, but we're probably going to do one. 
uh, for the Belmont, for the Travers, a couple of other days. And the next paid one won't be till the Breeders' Cup. So uh, they'll all be free until then. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate all of you. All the best. Uh, ciao for now. here with some exciting news. The RF Formulator, the gold standard in past performance information, is now free exclusively on DRF Bets. Join DRF Bets with the promo code WINNING, get a $250 first deposit match bonus, a $10 free bet, and free Formulator already uploaded to your account. Access Formulator's premium features, including sortable trainer stats, race replays, personalized trip notes, and lots more. Free Formulator, exclusively on DRF Bets. Nobody does it better.